Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. For today I have the What Rock and What Sucked in February 2016 video for you. I have not filmed a video like that for December or January. Uh, I filmed my 2015 huge um, uh, favorites videos instead. I will have the links down below. But I have quite a few things to show you for this month. I have no empties included because since I didn't film any empties videos I have a huge bag and I will have to film that separately but um, I really try to focus on the products that I liked and disliked during February because I didn't want to include things that I saw recently in my last year's favorites. So I'm starting with the things that rocked in this month and I will try to go through them quite quickly because they're quite a lot and I'm starting with skincare products because this month I really used a lot of new skincare products so you will see a lot of things that rocked but also some things that sucked. First I wanted to talk about this uh, exfol gentle exfoliator brightening toner from Clarence and this is a product that I heard about from Caroline Hirons that uh, I have mentioned multiple times and if you're into skincare you certainly know her she's a very famous blogger and youtuber and this is a toner that contains alpha hydroxy acid I really really liked it I got it from London because I cannot find that uh, in Greece or in Switzerland. I actually asked in Switzerland and they told me that they were carrying this product but since a few years they have stopped bringing it here and I have only found it in London because I'm always checking uh, in every clearance counter also when I travel in airports and stuff like that. So I really really liked it. I find it milder than the Pixie Glow Tonic. I also think it's it's 125 ml. I also found that this goes more quickly. So I, although I think it's a really really nice product, I think that I will prefer to purchase again the Pixie Glow Tonic instead because this is a bit milder and uh, also I'm running out much quicker. I don't know why, I don't know what's the problem. Maybe I'm using too much but I, I'm using it as I use all my other toners. I'm using it in the evenings. I would advise you to check it out if you have sensitive skin but you want to try out an, an HA uh, toner and I think that maybe this would be the best choice because it's one of the mildest that I have ever seen. I have um, two products from Rodial this month and they are both in my hits. So I have the Dragon's Blood Eye Gel. This is an eye cream, an eye gel cream and it's from the Dragon's Blood line which is my favorite, favorite hydrating mask. So that mask has hyaluronic acid and this eye gel also has uh, hyaluronic acid for moisturization. It uh, reduces the appearance of the under eye puffiness because one of you have asked me about puffiness and eye creams. It also um, it doesn't do a lot for the fine lines I believe and it doesn't claim to. What I really really like is the pump that it comes like that and you just push it down and the product comes like that. I find it very hygienic. I in general like a lot the packaging but I also think that this is a really really nice eye cream. I don't know if it's my holy grail eye cream. I'm still looking and I have never found an eye cream that I used and said this is the best thing I have used as I say for the mask but I really like this one and it's really really hydrating and it has this jelly consistency. I mainly use it in the morning where I want something that it's more lightweight and it will give me a lot of moisture without feeling heavy and uh, I really enjoy this. And the other one is the Rodeo Glamoxy Snake Serum. I have also tried the mask from this line that I also enjoy a lot and I have even done a video review for that and the snake serum says that it has liposomes that fill lines instantly and also it has an oxygen complex that boosts glow and radiance for fresh looking skin. I am using this in the morning 
I have a very complicated skincare routine and I want to try out many different products so I am splitting my products in morning and evening so I'm using that in the morning I liked it quite a lot I was afraid that I wouldn't like it I don't know why I mean it doesn't promise as much as the mask that's why I think that it's it sticks to its claims because it doesn't say like the mask supposedly it's like Botox in a mask this um, uh, helps to make the lines disappear, helps to make the lines, um, helps to fill the lines somehow and make your face look plumber and more radiant. I think that my face look more rested when I'm using this one. So this is certainly a good thing, that's why I'm also using it in the mornings because it creates this restness effect that uh, I rarely rarely have by my own and uh, I have a product from Kills I am planning to do a blog post review about it so I don't want to spill the beans too much and this is the Kills blemish control daily skin clearing treatment it has salicylic acid and also LHS and diodic acid and I will just say that I love it I will not say a lot of details, but I'm using that every day, morning and night. It helped me with uh, preventing new blemishes from coming out, uh, a lot at least. It helped me also for um, uh, fighting the blemishes that already existed and helped me get rid of the marks more easily. And the best thing about this is not at all drying, which is actually amazing. And you also can wear it under your makeup. So this is a must. I have already revealed my whole review for you. I will have some more details in the blog post when it will be ready. I will again link the post down below. But I think this is really a cool product. I have, a, I have one last skincare item and this is not a new one. This is by Rethesis and it's the Soothing Restorating Cream. So this is a product that I have already reviewed. It's Refuses is a Swiss uh, line with uh, vegan and natural products and this is a hydrating cream. So when I reviewed that, I like the cream quite a lot but uh, I was mostly uh, amazed by the mask and uh, I decided to now uh, try continue using the cream and finish it up and also I had this worry that because I was using the overnight treatment maybe I will need more moisture in my skin and uh, I tried this one and I felt that less heavier than I felt it when I first tried it I'm using it every night it's quite a hydrating moisturizing uh, cream you will love it if you have drier skin but I have mixed combination skin and I really 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 like this one it's really nourishes and hydrates the face and um, again the face looks more plum after using this one I have a few body products I have no hair products this month I reviewed last week the Pro Fiber L'Oreal professional line that I'm using up so I was sticking to that one so I have no hair products for this month but I have a few body products and I have two sour gels. The one is, oh, I love this line. I have talked about the scrub. And when I was traveling, I took with me this sugar crust body wash that was in the Christmas sugar crust kit. And it smells amazing. I love it. Maybe not as much as the scrub because I don't know. I think the scrub smells even more wonderfully. But it lathers perfectly. I really, really liked it. And actually this... Uh, a 75 ml bottle it lasts for very very long it's a perfect travel size I also love the cream from the line this is the hand food sugar crust hydrating hand cream it smells wonderfully if you like this kind of scents I uh, just to let you know if you have never never smelled the line that it smells like um, lime and uh, lime and brown sugar that's what it smells to me it smells like a cocktail your body and your hand afterwards smells like a cocktail I adore this let's make a coffee break because I have not drunk enough coffee and I have only slept for three hours 
I thought that Starbucks would get a huge, huge venti latte because otherwise I'm afraid that I will fall asleep while I'm filming, which is not very easy. But everything is possible with me. And I woke up at 6.30 to go to Zurich to the last Easter event. Next sour gel is from a Greek brand, so I don't think that you can find it outside of Greece. This is actually a drugstore supermarket brand and it has quite a lot of nice products and I don't remember purchasing this. I think that one of my friends sent it to me in one of their care packages and this is the Bioten Care Moments Sour Cream. Uh, it, is, it has sea butter, it's 100% organic and it is the cocoa butter and macadamia and it smells oh my god it smells heavenly i started using it maybe like 10 days ago and i want to use it all the time now i love it one last um, care product and this is a foot mask this is a foot peeling mask it's the second time that i'm doing a mask like that this is the first time that i'm using the one from holika holika and i actually use this at the end of january but i had to mention it in a video because it is amazing and still the results i enjoy throughout february so this is a mask it has liquid it has also something like plastic socks that you pour the liquid in and you put your feet in and after three four days your feet start peeling and they really peel off completely every dead skin hard part on anything without you having to rub or do anything peels off completely and then your feet are so soft afterwards uh, i really really liked it it's completely effective i have a nail product and this is again a care product it's from siate and it's uh, from the siate calendar so i have it in a mini size and it's the night in signing armor and what i really liked with that that this is an overnight treatment that you actually don't paint your nails but you can wash it off so what you do is you apply it just before you go to bed after you have finished brushing your teeth washing your hands and everything you let it dry a bit you don't care if you will apply it nicely or anything you let it dry a bit then you sleep and in the morning you washed it and rubbed it off and it really helped my nails. I use it something like three, four nights in a row and I really saw a result. I'm planning to use it again soon. I really liked it and I like the fact that I have treatments like that in travel sizes because it's really good also for traveling. I will continue with some makeup products. You will see a lot of the things that I saw you in my last huge haul because I'm trying to use them and try them and see if I like them or not. So I have for you here the Too Faced Born This Way foundation and I know it's horrible. I'm liking so many foundations currently that it's crazy. I open my drawer and I don't really know which one to choose. I have the shade Vanilla here. I really really like this one. I think that the result is really fresh and really skin like which is actually the type of foundations that I like. You know that I don't like being very matte, that I don't like looking like I'm actually wearing foundation. So this is really really has a beautiful finish. I love this one and um, I will review it more thoroughly in a future foundation video. I think that there are quite a few foundations that I have now that I have not included in previous foundation review videos so maybe it's time for a new one. So I will keep that in mind for the future. I have also a primer. This is from Makeup Forever and it's their Step 1 Skin Equalizer Smoothing Primer. I have heard so many things about it and some people were comparing it to Benefits Professional. Supposedly it does the same thing. I am not a huge fan of the Professional but I really wanted to try this one because the reviews were amazing. And I actually like this so much more. I don't apply it on my whole face. I apply it on the center of the face and where my pores are more um, in need of smoothing. And it 
really I love the result it you can see immediately the effect it has on the skin I think it's a really nice primer I don't believe that it increases the durability of my makeup but then I can combine it with my Nivea men primer or something else to in increase that and for smoothing this is a really really good one I have a blast to show you again I'm so amazed by that. This is again by Too Faced and this is the Love Flash Justify My Love and I think that the packaging is a bit kids, it's a bit too cute for me sometimes with Too Faced I have issues like that but the product is so amazing, it blends so nicely, it stays on the cheek, it says it's a 16 hour blast it really could be. I have not counted the hours that the blast stays on my face. I'm not wearing it today, otherwise I would have more blast because today I put my makeup on like already 11 hours ago. But I think that this is a great product and many people compare them to the Tarte blasts. And to be honest, I like these ones much more than the Tarte blushes that I own. And this has come out with a palette with mini sizes of all the blushes. I'm waiting for it to come because they are amazing. Another hit, another product that really, really rocked this month is the Becca Jacqueline Hill palette. I know you cannot find it, but all the products now are in the permanent line and this is the Simmering Skin Perfector Press Sampine Glow and uh, it has also the Pearl, the Sampine Pop and the Blast Copper Highlighters and I used mainly these two, I rarely use this one mainly as a blast topper maybe in the summer I will use it more as a blast topper but I use this one, Pearl and Sampine Pop mixed as most of the people do or when I want a really cold and bright highlight I use Pearl alone and they are amazing I have told you Moonstone is my favorite ever highlighter Becca highlighters and the press form that I have used them they are amazing and I'm really happy to hear that Sun Paint Pop and Pearl are in the permanent light were so popular that they had to add them I, I have mainly lip stuff now and I have one last non-lip product and this is uh, a product that I don't know why I have not tried all these years but this is by Anastasia Beverly Hills and it's the Brow Wiz I have the dark brown one and I still love my hourglass brow pencil but I actually have to admit that I quite like the fact that this has this tiny little tip and you can really control how you will do your brows it's, it's much more precise and dark brown is a really good match for my brows especially with darker hair and I actually really enjoy it. I have not done a side-to-side -side comparison with my hourglass. I think it would be a bit unfair because maybe the hourglass is not the completely perfect shade. I, I had many difficulties to choose. I think that Browiz has much more shades, so it was easier for me to find my perfect one, but this is certainly a really really good product I have quite a few lip products and first I will talk about the combo that I'm wearing now on my lips it is a lipstick that I'm wearing not only in February I'm wearing that since December and January and February so far all that time and it's not matte and it's not liquid but I'm obsessed and it's the Tom Ford Casablanca lipstick I adore this, it's the first Tom Ford lipstick that I have tried, it's so creamy, it's a very very simple color, nothing so special, as you see it's really everyday, but it looks so flattering I feel with most kind of makeup and today I'm wearing it and many times I wear this together with MAC lip pencil in Whirl which is a really really nice color they came out with that also as a matte lipstick but I found Whirl very drying and not as nice as some other matte lipsticks from MAC so I decided to stick with the pencil and combine it 
with other lipsticks or even wear it alone which I do quite often actually perfect combo and um, I have three liquid lipsticks of course one of them I was wearing it in the last video and you were leaving comments about how much you like it and it's Mars from Colored Rain I have shown that to you I mean first of all the name is amazing on that to you I mean, first of all, the name is amazing. If you uh, know me on Facebook, you know that my last name on Facebook is Mars and it's from Veronica Mars. I know that the lipstick has nothing to do with that, but this is a perfect everyday nude color that still leaves quite some brown pink shade on your lips without being too nude but you can combine that with the most colorful eye and still looks amazing and uh, I have two LA's plus ones and they are from the um, studio sign uh, line they were from the Day of the Dead collection, I don't remember the name of the collection and you know that I love this collection, you know how much I love Katrina, this is not Katrina, I should stop talking about it but these are uh, Guadalupe which I also have worn in videos and you have told me that you really really like it, it's a quite of a peculiar color but I still find it very flattering and this beautiful metallic blue that it's called Sangre Azul and I was wearing on Snapchat and you were all like wow this is really beautiful so I wore them a lot in February and loved them so I think these were all the things that rocked in February and I have quite a few things that I cannot really say that they completely sucked but they were disappointing and I need to talk about them and I'm starting maybe with the biggest that that I have in this video. Oh, this is a sour gel from I love and I actually love the products of the company and this is the strawberries and milkshake one. I told this is one, it smells fantastic. It really smells like fresh strawberries and milkshake but it's huge and it's 500 ml and you cannot finish it and it's so sweet after a few uses and you're talking to the person that uses Snow Fairy and adores it but after some uses it's like oh my god why do you smell like I'm putting ice cream on my body I cannot stand you anymore so I'm trying to finish it up but I'm also combining it with other sour gels so that sour will become again a happy fun experience and uh, I had to let you know that if you really think of buying it, it's a bit too much after a while. I have some skincare products. I actually have two skincare products and they're both from Korea. And you see people say that I always like skincare products from Korea, but this is actually not true. This is finished. I will also, maybe I will sew this and throw it away. I will not keep it for... Uh, the empties video, but this is the T3 Essence from LJ8 if I remember correctly and this was actually in a, a gift set together with some other things that uh, a friend gave me and um, since it has T3 supposedly it has um, it helps with blemish control and stuff like that it didn't do anything to my skin, not only blemish control, like anything, it says power brightening, natural moisturizing, it didn't, it was like a gel, not like an actual, like, like most of the essences, it's like a jelly serum, so it was not very liquidy and it didn't do anything, it was like a complete nothing in my skincare. And the next one I started using in February and uh, I use it as an evening serum, as I said I use the Rodeo one as a morning one and it's already here, it's quite expensive, this is from Dell Skin and it's the Centella 90 Power Ampoule uh, supposedly it does amazing stuff, it has 90% Centella Asiatica extract and it enhances the skin barrier, regenerates damaged skin if you search online you will see that this is crazy expensive and does everything it didn't do really 
a lot of stuff. I cannot see, like when I put it on my skin, I cannot see this um, short term effects that you would expect and I also don't see really a lot of long term effects that I could uh, say that they are because of this. I see short term effects from this, that's why I believe it. So I believe that this works much better than this and they're both expensive but this didn't really pleased me and uh, it's not a horrible product it didn't cause me any damage to my skin or anything but it's expensive and it didn't do anything so I got it from a meme box and I'm not planning to repurchase it and this is a sample product from the kills calendar this is the sunflower color preserving sample for color treated hair this doesn't do anything it also lathers insignificantly I it's sulfate free of course so this is expected but I didn't like it I will use it up but I had it with me during traveling and I didn't like it I have some more kill samples to try I hope they're better but from a sample perspective this was a bit of a disappointment and I have two uh, products that they're makeup products the one it's not a disappointing product as a mas it's a mascara it's the makeup forever smoky last mascara and you will read a lot of amazing reviews about that and it's actually quite a good mascara so this is how the brass looks it's a normal brass but quite thick I like it it gives definition it um, makes the lashes longer it's a really good mascara in general but this is the intense color mascara volume length and curl and this is the green one and it doesn't really look green and I expected much more color for my eyelashes for that and I really want when I buy a color mascara to be intense and this one isn't and I I think people rarely buy color mascaras for the length and the volume and stuff like that. You buy them for the color and most of the times I don't even mind to put a grey black mascara underneath and then the colored one as a second coat. But this one is not visible even if you use it alone. Sometimes I really like using it on my lower lashes just to give a hint of color. So I will use it up, it's a good mascara, but it's not that amazing green thing that I expected. And last I have a foundation, because I cannot love all foundations. I still try to find ways to make it work nicely. It's not a bad one, it's from Smashbox and it's the Liquid Halo Foundation. It's oil free, it has SPF 15, I have said 1, first of all said 1, it's a bit dark for me. And this is, I like the packaging, everything is okay, but... It has a very poor set selection and although this is supposed to be oil free and it's a, a dewy foundation I I don't like it I don't know what is the problem with it but this is an expensive high-end foundation and I want results like this one and not like this one certainly I can see it on my face it doesn't apply so nicely it doesn't stay that long. Certainly the staying power with this foundation, it doesn't work so good for me. So this was actually, this was also something that sucked. I will keep trying it and try to see if I can make it work and let you know what worked for me. So these were all the things that rocked and sucked in February 2016. Please leave me comments and let me know which were your favorite products for this month or what was the product that really pissed you off the most. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more videos to come and we will talk next week with another video. Until then, many many kisses!